Hey guys, it's Roman Deer Park Farm's dead. Check it out. Made a little play area for the goats. And um, I'm cutting some trees down using the DeWalt electric chainsaw. So it's working great, but I just ran out of battery. I'm gonna show you the goats, first of all, how they're doing. And um, I'm gonna show you the mess we have back here. It's overwhelming, to say the least. So let's go have a look. All right, they're being a little shy right now, but I screwed the, uh, the slide on to that. This used to be something that they were gonna throw away at my wife's store. So she grabbed it and thought it would be perfect for the goats and it's working out great. It's like for displays and stuff. Jade. There she goes. They're so fun. So I ended up cleaning up all this stuff over here and the damage that the wind had caused, but these were some that were going through this pathway here. So I cut all those and here's some of the mess and we'll go through a lot more. Here's one that fell over this way. I haven't got to this big part here. And I think I'm gonna utilize this log for a future project. But these guys are all safe. Here's the saw I'm using. 12 inch blade it's good for what I'm my current project is and I'll show you what that is okay we're leaving the goat area and coming back to this dense forest so as you can see there are a lot of trees but the majority of them are these small thin ones and they all could be the same age, but these are like three inch, three and a half inch at the base maybe. This one's maybe an inch and a half. So I'm just going around and taking all those out with the cordless, you know, and you know, you got that one there. Maybe this one here, it's about four inches. Oranges is probably the most I'll go. You know, I just got a lot. And then once, this is all what I collected when we first moved in here. And a lot of trees had fell. So I just like put them all in one big bunch here. But there is just an overwhelming amount still left here. So this is what I've already done here today. I want to get this. This is kind of like the center right here of the property. The center line as it goes all the way back. And I want to get everything on this side for the most part. You know, I'll probably get over here too. So just everything on this side of the property so when we come back here with the goats and the pigs, we can just keep utilizing this side and then eventually, um, you know, get the other side. But I mean, you could just see, it's just, this tree fell over from my neighbor's property. The property lines just over there a little bit. So the property is really narrow and long. And uh, so I'm gonna go from, you know, over here and then there's a little clearing over here. This over here is really bad on the left side. You can kind of see these trees all fell on their own. I mean, it, it helps me, but still it's just, a mess. So here's a little clearing right here and 
I want to use this area as like the point from this point forward to go on and thin out with that cordless. And then once we kind of get a better understanding, I'll take my wife through here and we will kind of understand what really we have to face once all those little ones are gone. I mean, look, look at this. You have these all that fell over, but it's so dense that they can't fall the whole way, you know? So I gotta get rid of those in a bad way. And then we'll get a better assessment of what we're working with. I think it'll thin out a lot. So there's a lot of those. I, mean, I don't know if I'll do this one, but definitely that one there. Uh, we've got these two here. And we've got these two here. This one, that one, this one's a leaner. This one even in the middle here can go for sure. And that'll open up this whole area here. You know, this one's like a curly one. And so that one doesn't look too stable. And then even that one there. So that'll open it a lot. And I don't think my wife really realizes how much this can be cleaned up just by doing these small little diameter trees. See, this area is nice and clear. Then on this side, look at all these trees that fell. That's just crazy. But I could certainly take down a lot of these just like the way I'm doing right now with the cordless. That one's just sitting there doing nothing. And you got these over here. There's a lot in here. So eventually we'll clear all this out here on this side. But since we have the goats over on this side over here from the center line, we kind of have in our head. It just makes sense to go back from here and clear it all up. Just kind of bummed. I got I was getting a good amount done. Just ran out of battery, so I gotta recharge it. So we took Mini Sky to a friend's house. Actually, it's the same person we bought um, Kingston from. And they determined that she was a, a late bloomer on her horns. So we're just gonna go ahead and get her disbudded too. It's too bad. It would have been cool if we had a pulled goat. Right over here we have this one. This one. She's amazing. So we're going to keep her too. We're keeping her as well as Mini Sky. And there's Jade. She's a sweetheart too. So between all these guys, Walker, our first born Nigerian on the farm. We have this one. We're still thinking about naming her. Not quite sure where we're going with it. 
They both want to come back up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. That's the end of the show. We'll see you guys later. Say goodbye.